The Orne of Ife, Oba Adeyeye, Ogunwusi, and Eselu of Iselu land, Oba Aketunde Akiyemi, traded words over headsmen's reported attacks in some villages in Ogun State. Recall that some headsmen who were allegedly expelled for terrorizing Ketu Yewa speaking communities in Ogun State were escorted back to the villages by soldiers from 35 Artillery Brigade, Alamala, Abeokuta, with many of the affected villages in Oba Akinyemi's domain. Shortly after the report went viral, Oba Akinyemi had granted BBC Pigeon an interview on the incident, wherein he expressed his support for Yoruba activist Chief Sunday Adeyemo, a.k.a. Sunday Igbuho, who reportedly visited the monarch's domain and urged other Yoruba Obas in the southwest not to compromise the security of their subjects. His comments, however, appeared to have been condemned the Oni, who reacted by sending a WhatsApp message to Oba Akiyemi on Friday. That was on Friday morning accusing the Oba of directing his remarks in the said interview at him because of his visit to President Muhammad Buhari, warning the Ogun State monarch to be careful. Which other traditional rulers from our zone went to Abuja? The Orne queried. We all need to be careful not to be saying things that we are not there physically. The spirits of our ancestors and Odua land judge me if I went to Abuja to do otherwise to the cause of our land and also judge people that are saying things they don't know. Responding, Obakiyemi said he was disappointed at the honest attack on him, urging him to live up to expectations as the leading monarch in Yoruba land. Obakiyemi said, Good morning, Kabiesi, your Imperial Majesty. Kabiesi, I hold you in high esteem, and God and our ancestors know that. I don't expect you to attack me in this manner. My expectations are for you to sympathize with me as one of your others, and also your people in Yoruba land that were killed like goats by the Fulani strangers in your land. Kabiesi, there is nowhere in the aforementioned interview that I mentioned that you collected money from Abuja. But I put cautions to all traditional rulers in Yoruba land as a wake-up call to all of us, including your good self, sir. Kabiesi, you occupy the cradle of Yoruba land, and I expect you to extend hands of fellowship to all of us. In a nutshell, Kabiesi, you need to do more, and you owe me a delegation to come to us so they can report back to you how your children are being treated like slaves in Iselu. The Oni again responded, asking Oba Akiyemi not to join others in spreading false information about his visit to the Asurok. He explained that his visit to Buhari had stirred off some evil plans against Igbuho. Following the latter's sacking of headsmen from the Igogo area of Ibarakpa in Oyo State, Oni said, you cannot say you are more pained than me on all these matters as Aruli Odudua. Our ancestors still live in the spirit on this throne, and anybody that does negative things to the land will get the rot of the spirit's land of we Yorubas. You cannot be saying that a traditional ruler went to Abuja in the name of oil block to trade off his people. I am the only one that went due to COVID-19 restrictions. 
hear what you said now. Were you there when I discussed with Buhari? If I had not gone to speak the truth to power, do you have an idea of what was planned for Sunday Igbuho and things that will happen afterward? Diplomacy is way better to resolve things than war. Because even after the war that we all don't prefer, you still you will still sit down to talk. Anyway, I hold my peace before you will turn it into something else again. Just to correct your wrong notion of going to solicit for oil block and coal, it's a lie. Please, I hold you in high esteem. Don't partake in false information. It's not good spiritually. The spirits of our ancestors are alive and will surely fight the Yoruba cause. Peace be unto you. Obaki Yemi, however, fired back, noting that the Oni had been too cold to the plight of Yoruba people being attacked and killed by Hedas. He said, Your Imperial Majesty, Oni, as long as I don't want to disobey my paramount ruler, Olu of Ilaru, who advised me not to join issues with you, I won't. But let me bust your brain that the issues today in Yoruba land that you happen to be the leader of all monarchs, things have fallen apart right under your nose. We are now in a state of oligarchy, racism, and totally totalitarianism. Maybe you don't know you are not the only Oba that goes to the president in our zones. And I might not know them all because I am not the chief of staff to the president. And the issue of oil block you accused me of is not a statement credited to you alone, but all of us in the Southwest because we have nowhere to call our ancestral land apart from here. Kabiesi, I insist you need to do more. You are too cold at this present situation in your land. But just like I said earlier on, send your delegations to come and report back to you the situation of things now in our land. Maybe because you always watch CNN, but I will post some pictures to you now to see how your people are being slaughtered like rams. You need to wake up, Kabiesi, Kabiesi, Kabiesi. Responding to Obakiemi's charge that he had been too cold to the plight of Yoruba people being attacked by Hedas, Oba Ogunwusi said he has a different style and approach to things. He recalled that Ife people had contained the Hedas in 2017 during a bloody confrontation, saying, seeing all the pictures and documents sent to me before and long before it has been in our archive, of proof. I really wonder which issue you want to take up with me that Olu Ilaru advised you against or where you have the notion that I only watch CNN. If you say I am cold, thank you for the compliments or otherwise. We all have our different styles and approach to things. What is critical is the end will always justify the means. Regards. Obakiyemi told the Oni to consider the lives of other people in the Southwest as important, sarcastically urging him to release Ife warriors to assist other Yoruba towns to ward off Fulani headsmen. All right, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? What a serious one. This is a powerful exchange. You can imagine what the Fulani headsman crisis is causing among the Southwest Obas and how they are attacking each other, the issue of Sunday Buhu and everything. You can see that if care is not faking, this situation might just lead to serious issues, if not lead to a civil war, as it were. But however, we hope that the Obas will be able to find a common ground to reach a compliment 
or a conclusion on this issue on how to deal with this issue so that it does not escalate beyond normal. Be that as it were, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Well, drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.